Hello and welcome to C Sharp Programming Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can pass an array one value at a time from main method to another user defined static method. First of all, we will start out by declaring an array with pre populated values. As you have learned in the previous tutorials, you will going to declare an array in C Sharp with square brackets next to the data type, provided by the name of the array, provided by a set of values in curly braces. If you are already familiar with Java programming, you will going to find that this resembles in syntax with Java because they have a common parent class, a uh, parent programming language, which is C++. Anyway, this is an array of pre-populated values. We will now write a loop to traverse through this array. Now we will run this application. As you can see that it displays at the beginning, followed by a value colon 100, value colon 120, and so on and so forth, goes all the way to the end. Because the write will going to force them all to come on the same line. If instead I use the write line method, and rerun the same code, you will notice that they all come on different lines. Now that we have learned how you can show the value of an array within the main method, we will now learn to pass this to another method but one element at a time. So let's first create the other method which will be the receiver. So private static void receiver method which will receive one value of type integer. This method will simply display what it will receive one value at a time value in the method followed by the value itself. Now we're going to copy and paste this for loop as we have one for loop that displays the values in the main method. The other for loop will simply pass the value over to the receiver method one value at a time. Now let's rerun this program to see what output it generates. As you can see, the first four outputs after at the beginning are those that are coming from the main method, which are coming from this loop on line number 12, where we start from zero, we go all the way till the length of the array, printing out one value at a time, and then we are pulling one value at a time from the array. The second loop, instead of displaying the output locally, passes the array one element at a time into one val, where in the body of receiver method, we are displaying them one by one. So each call will display one value, and we have as many calls as there are elements in the array. So in this particular example, all we learned was how you can go about passing the value over. Now in the same example, what we will learn is, we will change the value of one val before exiting to 999. And now we will going to see inside the main to see if the value has now been changed. So I will going to make changes to this comment to the user after the call. And now let's run this example. As you will see, that at the beginning and after the call, the values stay the same, even though 
all the receiving variable one value after it displayed the value we changed all occurrences of it to 999 so that clearly shows that whenever you pass an array element value by value it is a pass by value changing the receiver will not change the form of the the actual parameter so changing the formal parameter which is a receiver parameter will not change the actual parameter so it acts like pass by value so anyway in the next example we will learn how you can pass the entire array into an entire array and if changing a receiver array will also change the actual array or not. So we're going to catch you in the next tutorial with that example. Till then, take care.